Hi guys, in this video, we'll talk about how to connect the external or uh, public or private APIs and pull the data into Bubble app using uh, the Bubble API connector. Okay, so let's start with it. Uh, first, uh, let's get our API. So I'm going, to, I'll get my API from Rapid API. You need to log into Rapid API using, uh, you can create an account or also log in uh, with your Google account. So I've already logged in here. Uh, now we'll search for uh, fitness calculator. This is the API that I'm going to use. This is the one. So um, what you can see here is that on the left hand side, um, you'll have uh, what all APIs that are there. In the center, uh, you have the API key and what are the required parameters. And on the right hand side, you have the code snippet. So I'm going to use the BMI. So on the left hand side, I'll click on this BMI one. So in this BMI one, I need to, uh, only three things, which is age, weight, and height. Okay. So this is the one that we are going to use. And this is the key to use this API. Now we'll go back to our bubble app and we'll, we'll click on the plugins on the left. So for this, I'm going to add a plugin, which is API connector. This is how it looks like. I'll click on install and then I'll click on done. <clears throat> Now I'm going to add, I'm going to click add another API. In this, I need to uh, set up my API name. So in this case, uh, I'll put it as, mm, let's call it fitness API. Okay. And now I'm going to uh, set this particular value which is uh, going to be a private key in the header. So if I click on this drop down, I'll get this option private key in header. I'll select this one. Now in the key, I'll remove this and uh, I'll go back to the API page, rapid API one. Uh, so yeah, in this, uh, in this particular API, uh, we need to test it first. So I'll click on this test endpoint. Uh, once I click here, it gives a success rate. So that means that this API is working and it is giving BMI, health and uh, healthy BMI range. Now I'll click on code snippet. So we need the key name. Okay. Uh, so here the key name is X rapid API key. Okay. So I'll copy this and I'll come back to my editor and I'll paste it here. And the value of is I can get it from here this is the value so it's difficult to pay, copy paste it from here so I'll I can also get this value from here so this is X rapid API key and this is the particular value of this key I'll again copy this and put it here and now uh, I'll uh, uh, click on add a shared header here, uh, this is the key for this, which is the host one, X rapid API host. I'll put it here and then I'll go back to get the value of this particular key, which is this one. It's very simple. You just have to uh, get the right values. Uh, now, I'll go down and I'll click on this expand button. So here I have to first name my uh, this thing. So I'm going to call it BMI calculator. Okay. Uh, if I go back to the API page, I can see that uh, the method is a get one. Okay. And here also it's written just a get kind of API. 
so i come back and i'll make sure that whatever the type of api is given the same type is selected here uh, now in this case uh, here i'm supposed to put the url okay and if you come down you'll see that this is the url for this particular api i'll come back and paste it now i'll click on add parameters in this case uh, if you'll go back to the api page here it is written the required parameters okay these are the parameters that we are going to feed in there so first one is age the next one is weight so in order to avoid any kind of mistake or spelling mistake i am going for copy paste option another parameter is height so we'll take the height um and now i'll untick uh, these boxes because um uh, because uh, the end user is going to interact with it. Uh, so, uh, and we also need to feed in some values to make sure the API is connected, okay? So, uh, we are going to put some values over here. So, in this case, the given values are 25, 65, and 180. And now, we'll click on, we'll come down, and the very important step is that we'll click on this until unless we initialize the call, the API is not going to work, okay? Now, it shows us the data fields that are returned by returned by this API. Like, whenever this API is called, these are the values we're going to get. So, we'll click on save. Now, let's go back to design page. And on the left, here, we'll first start by a group. Let's get a group. Uh, let's give it some value like let's put some background color in this case I'll go with that color let's make it little beige no oh, little light one no I'm going to center it horizontally now we'll we'll first change the name of this group Let's call it BMI calculator. And now uh, we'll get input two inputs. Actually, three inputs because we need one for age. Um, let's put a value 25 as a placeholder. Another one for weight and another one for. So here input input next one is weight and this is input height let's change the placeholder value also so that the person who is feeding the data knows what to put in uh, let's make it 65 okay now uh, we know that this the the user is going to feed in an integer here so instead of text we'll put the content format as an integer in all three cases and then also we'll make an integer oh yep and let's put a text over here that here the user is supposed to put age whatever is the age uh, let's make it yep we are going to put age over here let's duplicate this and this is gonna be weight and the other one is going to be Let's duplicate this one. And the third value will be alright. Let's do it with E. And now uh, 
now so uh, in this particular group we have to set the type of content so the type of content is going to be the bmi calculator the api name that we just created and the data source is going to be we are going to get the data from an external api so we'll come down to this option get data from the external api and you know the api name is fitness api bmi calculator that we just created and these are the uh, preset parameters so we'll click on close now this is set now we need to put a button over here that button is going to show the values so let's call it calculate bmi okay and now we are going to show the values uh, for that let's some text things so the first one b for bmi now we are going to insert the dynamic parameter so what we want to show is that we want to show that in this particular parent group bmi calculator i want to show it bmi so this is what we have selected okay let's make it a little bold right and below that i want to show the range in this particular case i want to show the particular bmi is held so i'll get the dynamic data which is let's insert dynamic data which is this particular parent group's bmi calculators help and in third case we are going to put the range for this bmi because if you remember when we initialize the call and return this value uh, we got three things bmi the health and the normal range i mean you can show whatever you want to show but i mean these are all the available options that we can put up here and here i'll insert the dynamic data which is dynamic data is uh, parent groups bmi calculators range healthy bmi range okay and now we'll uh, we'll click on this which is uh, let's go to add some workflow <clears throat> so in this case we'll go to element action in element action we have this option display data in a group so our group is this group bmi calculator and the data that we want to display is that we are going to get that particular data from the external api so let's click on get data from external api and the api name is fitness api bmi calculator and the parameters are now in this case we want to show the parameters okay so we are going to get the parameters from the input that we have just created okay so instead of a fixed value we will get the input age value and in weight we are going to get the input weights value and in height the input height that we have created we are going to get its value okay and now let's preview this page and let's see what values we get say so these are the based on the old data that we have fed these are the values that it is showing now let's uh let's fill in the age so say the age is 30 and the weight is 70 and the height is 190 okay let's calculate the bmi so in this case the bmi is 19 and uh it is showing it as a normal bmi and the, the range is this one so since the person's bmi falls under this particular range it is showing that it's a normal person wonderful so in this video you have learned how to connect the external api in this case it was a bmi calculator fitness calculator api so you have learned 
how to connect the APIs with our mobile app. Congratulations. Thank you for watching.